Hello, everybody. How are we doing? It's Carter. Good to see you today. I want to welcome you to this video, or whatever you call this, webinar, sales, thing. I don't know. Who cares? This is really, really exciting. I can't be more excited about this if you can't tell already. I have something today that I have been waiting months to show you guys and to share with you guys. It's, it's something that I think it's going to change a lot for a lot of people, and it's definitely the first time I've ever seen anyone do this. It's, I think it's going to be really, really exciting. And so I wanted to welcome you all, and I wanted to thank you all for coming and, and spending a little time and learning about this, this opportunity that I have and that, I, that I'm trying to share with everyone. So let's, let's get into it. This is a very rare opportunity. Uh, like I said, I've been looking for stuff like this for, I would say, about six months now, and it finally culminated, and I finally figured out put, how to put all the pieces together. And I had to share it with everyone. This is maybe once a year type deal. My name is Carter. Uh, I built a lot of apps. Wasn't really expecting to do this. You know, I grew up uh, in suburban farmland, upstate New York. I lived in Maine for 10 years. I mean, I'm just a regular guy. I was doing some website stuff for a few lawyers. Stumbled into the app market and I figured out this whole like weird model that's called app flipping and app reskinning. And I just ended up building tons and tons of apps. And I learned a ton along the way about economics and about the app market and about how to make a business in the app market. And so what I would do is I would find great source codes and then I would make lots of designs. So I would find one good game and then instead of trying to make uh, a second game that was completely different, I would just make a new design of that one game and, and do that over and over. And um, what happened was it would make a lot of money. So we're going to run through this very, very quickly. First, what you do is you get a code. You're going to you know, either buy it, you lease it, you, you build it, whatever. You get a code. And then the second step is you redesign that code. So you can see in this example right here, um, this is one runner game, and I've made three copies of this. You know, I've made about 50 versions of this code. But you can redesign that multiple times. And you publish this app, and you put it in the store, and you, know, you put your keywords in and everything like that, and then you repeat this process using the same code. And you just repeat this over and over. And this is the basic tenant of reskinning apps. So Temple Run, which I'm sure you all have played, five billion times because <laughs> they've got the numbers to prove it is it's a nice game it's simple but it's beautiful and it looks good but it's not that complicated it's just fun to play and i was looking at temple run and i was just like oh my gosh like this is this is it like this these guys nailed it it's you know it's a husband and wife operation and they did it right so then i started to look and i saw a few other games that were doing the exact same thing you probably recognize these. The left is Subway Surfers, and the right is this new one. I think it's called Ninja Runner. Top of the charts for about three weeks, <clears throat> and they all have these same endless runner, 3D, just fun games to play. And these games were crushing it. I mean, Subway Surfers is, I think they just passed 16 billion user, uh, whatever, installs or impressions, and you know, 230 million active users on one iOS game. I mean, it's like crazy. And these guys don't do any marketing, which is crazy. So these guys, like, they're crushing it on the charts. I mean, the Endless Runner games do extremely well. And there's actually not a whole lot of these 3D runner games, which blew my mind. So I did a little research. And what I found is that these runner games, especially these 3D runner games, their success is based on the game and not on user acquisition. And what I mean by that is that they just get downloads and the users stay there. The retention is enormous. I think Subway Surfers retention is something like 60% after 30 days, which is absolutely unheard of in the gaming world. <clears throat> so what we want and what I want, what I was looking for is that games that perform on their own. You know, you put them in the store and they can just churn and burn. I don't need to go out and build out a whole cost analysis, some ad network, everything, and say, okay, if I spend $50,000 today, I want to make 60 tomorrow. I mean, maybe you want to do that, but most of us just want to make games and let it go and let, like, just have it work because we don't have the money to spend on that and we don't really want to get in that business yet. And so that's the golden ticket. How do I find a game that is, leverages this explosive model that no one else is really doing yet and put it into all the tenants that I talked about earlier? So what I needed, I needed a 3D game I needed that has endless runner gameplay, you know, similar to Subway Surfers and Temple Run. It had to have like in-app store and advertising and all this sort of stuff. And it had to be easy to reskin. It's easy, right? You know, I should go find that. And this is, this is what my face looked like when I, when I realized that this is, this is kind of a big challenge. And so I searched everywhere. I talked to dozens of developers, like 
all about similar codes that looked like this, but they all pretty much suck. Like they just didn't, they didn't get it. And they weren't open to figuring this out. And it just, it was really frustrating. So I thought about building my own, but that was way too expensive. It was going to take me months. Just like we talked about earlier, like building a game like this would, would, it would just be a nightmare. And I just, I just couldn't, couldn't do it. And so then I found something really, really interesting. I found a developer that was selling the full rights to a game like Subway Surfers and Tumble Run. And, you know, I found him on a forum or something and we got the chatting and, but I never really followed up with him. I, I, you know, it was my own fault. I just was like, oh, this is cool. Oh, I got a million other things going on. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> and a few weeks ago, I suddenly remembered talking to this guy and I was like, oh, you know, I, I should reach back out to this guy. And I sent him another email. And it turns out he had been busy, you know, while, I, while we, you know, between our uh, two times talking. And he wanted to reskin games too. He understood the market here. He understood what was going on. And he had a full development team and they built something amazing. He told me that the 3D endless runner game he had could now be reskinned in under a week. Like that's that's nuts. If you know, in any way, shape, or form, like that's amazing to hear. I was like, holy cow. Damn son. That's actually exactly what I said. So we talked some more. Yo, Carter, what the F is this game? That is exactly what everyone out there is saying right now. I know you're saying that right now, and I'm about to tell you. So it's a good question. This is the game. It's called Gagnum Fly Surfers. And this guy, you know, he saw the Gagnum success, and he capitalized on it. And, you know, he released this, I believe, in May. and Or, you know, updated it in May, at least the, the, the newest version of it. And what he did is he took the Temple Run sur Subway Surfers thing, as you can see in these graphics, and he made a game that just uses the exact same physics engine, all the same coins and power-ups and in-app purchases and all that, and he built his own, which is amazing. It's like, you know, you fly a dragon or you ride a uh, skateboard or, you know, you go in a spaceship or whatever, and he built it. And, like, kudos to this. I mean, this is amazing, right? And what, what's even more amazing is when he talked to me what he built. Okay, it's a Unity 3D engine, which everyone knows. Not only can you export to iOS, that can go to Android, Amazon, Mac Store, like everyone, like Windows, everything you want. It's an endless runner engine. It's the exact same engine as everything else. It's got power-ups. It's got options. It's got a store. You can buy lots of stuff in the game. And it's fully loaded with the ad networks. I think right now it has RevMob and Chartboost in it. You can easily put in whatever else you want in there. It's got Game Center with all the leaderboards and everything like that you want to get in there. It's got huge retention of users, which is proof of concept based on what I saw with the other games. And most importantly, dude, this game is making 3,500 bucks a month in revenue. Like that's gangster. I don't know if you can see this, but this is the rev mob and the chart boost revenue reports since the beginning. So when I wrote this, this is, I think about, you know, whatever, two months, three months, but it comes out to about 3,500 a month on average. It was about 5,000 the first month. It's crazy. This thing is just cranking money. And a lot of it is because of that retention. <clears throat> so this is this is seriously one of, this is if not the best offer I've ever found with source codes. I, I, I see a ton of source codes. I sell a lot of source codes. I scour source code websites all day. And this is, this is probably the best offer I've ever found. And I'm not just saying that because I'm doing it. I'm saying that because it, it's true. I think a lot of you probably understand that by now. And there are a lot of eyeballs on this video. I mean, I sent this to... My source code list, I know a few other people are sending some traffic here. There's a lot of people watching this, and I'm not trying to create urgency. I just want to let you guys know that this, this is an opportunity, and opportunities, you have to take advantage of them, seize them as quickly as you can. Um, if you don't want to miss this offer, you, you should buy this now. And I'm not saying that. Uh, like I, I really don't like being a sales guy, but I, I cannot stress enough. Like This is going to end, and I know people are going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I missed it. Like This is it. Like This is the one-time deal. And I don't want to sell a million copies of this because I don't want a million of these versions in the store. I want the people who buy it to really crush it and have a really op awesome opportunity. So I want to say good luck. I really hope that this was helpful. I know I'm so excited about this kind of stuff because it's something that no one else is doing. This is a completely new idea. It's a new model. I think it's going to make people an absolute disgusting amount of money for very, very little money. And the reason is, is because we are breaking the entire market. So... Good luck to you. Buy now if you're serious. Don't wait. Let's do this and let's make some things happen. All right, everybody. I will catch you soon. Take care.